I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. All right, we got a big cold front coming, and it's that time of year where the canals are going to start getting hot. It, when it gets hold, the cold, the canals get hot. You can come back in here uh, in the main canal and catch tons of fish. What I usually do is put the trolling motor down and put my, uh, my down scan and side scan on, I look for bait and I look for those thermoclines. Some of these uh, little fingers in here can be uh, up to three to four degrees warmer depending on which direction the wind's going to be blown out of, which it's going to be blown out of the north. But you got to find one of these canals that's nice and protected, uh, no flow through a water. Uh, that way the temperature remains the same. And uh, find one that's loaded with bait and it'll be loaded with fish. You really don't have to buy any bait. Just get some artificials, catch plenty of reds and uh, and trout. Also, if you do want to get some bait, get some live shrimp. You'll catch lots of black drum and sheephead. Over here in the ICW, I've been seeing lots of those white pelicans moving along the west side of the ICW. And the tide's been low, so those fish are hanging right on this west side, you know. They'll come up into the flats during the warmth of the during the warmth of the uh, afternoon but really for the majority of the day they're hanging either right on the edge or uh, down on the drop off. Uh, I've been catching them both on plastics, artificials, uh, corkies, uh, any kind of suspending bait, um, dark colored plastics, anything with a white tail like plum and white or pumpkin seed white. Um, I like that keen pop Key lime pie and white, and, you know, and those flapping shads, down south lures, gamblers, those are all good colors to use. Um, but we've been catching a lot of fish in the ICW. If you just put the trolling motor down and you start going down the ICW, you will find fish, no doubt. All right, look look for those uh, black drum to get moving on this cold front. The big ones, uh, I like to fish right here in front of PETA when it gets real cold. But if you move on down the channel, uh, over here coming up towards Red Dot and Causeway, we've been catching a lot of good uh, oversized drum in here, and they're really going to start pushing now that that, uh, that cold front's going to be here. So crabs, sea lice, fish bites, sh dead shrimp on the bottom, you know, that's all going to be good for those big drum. Over here on the Kennedy shoreline, uh, during the nicer days, we've been catching some good fish. I know that today's going to be one of the nicer day, nicer last nicer days, um, just because we got that cold front coming. But after the cold front passes this weekend, you're going to be able to come over here as long as that ceiling hasn't lifted, and we still got some good overcast. This is going to be a good spot to come try. Um, you know, not during the front, but just after the front a little bit before the ceiling lifts. This is going to be a good spot to come throw some corkies. Uh, some paddle tails, anything with a white tail, some uh, suspending lures, uh, broken backs, all up and down here, catch trout, reds, and then uh, dead shrimp or live shrimp on the bottom for the black drum and sheephead. Over here around Comporta Pass along this shoreline, uh, you know, kind of out here in the deeper water, we're going to be catching lots of black drum this week, uh, this weekend. Uh, that water temp's going to drop a little bit more. North wind blowing pushes them through here. Anchor up anywhere in here. Doesn't matter where. Just anchor up. Throw some uh, live shrimp on the bottom and catch plenty of black drum. Right, I'm going to put Los Corrales in the report just because I've been catching fish down here on the nice days. What I recommend is in the next 24 to 48 hours, do not come down here just because... That cold front's coming, and it's going to get nasty down here. But as soon as it gets nice again, these fish are going to want to bite, especially after they haven't bit for a couple of days after the front. Uh, that, that high pressure will release a little bit, and we'll start to catch fish on this south shore. Uh, popping corks and live shrimp right along the drop-off will do just fine. I'm Captain Grant Coppin. Thanks for watching.